Welcome back to my channel. Today I will tell you how to convert an ordinary looking image into a more fascinating image. So first of all, let's uh, open our image in camera raw filter and we will apply auto adjustments and auto white balance. And I will take back uh, the shadows to their normal value so that we don't introduce any noise in the, uh, in the shadows. After applying all the adjustments, slight adjustments in the white balance as well. Let's hit OK. Okay, now this is the image from where we will start to work. Okay, let's create two copies of our image so that we can apply frequency separation on this image. So on layer one, we are going to uh, apply some Gaussian blur 12.5 in my case and on layer 1 copy we are going to uh, use apply image and in apply image we are going to use layer 1 and then blending mode to subtract and our scale will be on 2 and our offset will be on 128 after applying these changes let's hit ok and change the blending mode of this uh, layer to linear light and put them put these uh, two layers in one group after selecting these layers press ctrl and g together all uh, the retouching work all uh, the cleanup we will do on this layer one copy Make sure that all the changes you are making are very subtle and do not make too many changes because it will also disturb the texture of the image. So I will also clean up uh, the hair on her neck on this same layer and make sure that you are working on your current layer and you can use uh, clone stamp tool or uh, uh, healing tools both of them them can work on this layer once we are done with these changes let's go back to our layer one and make the adjustment on her skin make the selection on her skin and I will make sure that I'm not selecting any edges into this although it will soften the edges as well so you can use uh, shift plus lasso tool together to add to your selection or alt and lasso tool together to remove from your selection so make sure that you are selecting the maximum skin because you're going to uh, to apply the Gaussian blur on this so I have applied the same Gaussian blur 12.5 on this layer as well so as you can see the skin has become softer well, let's uh, crop my image down a little bit because I think uh, it will look better in this way hit control plus zero together to fit your image to the screen now we can add some adjustment layers to this uh, image first of all we are going to add one color lookup and change its blending mode to color and this this uh, adjustment layer will add a very slight change to this image and let's put a layer mask so that this uh, is visible around her but not on her hair and her skin let's uh, make another adjustment layer and let's remove this from her hair and her uh, eyes and her lips let's change the blending mode to color 
and decrease the opacity and let's add another adjustment layer in this case I want to separate my subject from the background well, let's uh, I will add another um, I will add one uh, curve layer and so that I can pop my subject further and separate my background further and then I will add another curve layer and I will add some contrast to the image this way it is looking better uh, add two layers where we can do dodging and burning and group them together and name rename this uh, rename this folder to DB for dodging and burning so on layer 2 I'm going to do the dodge and on layer to copy I will do the burning so change the blending mode of these two layers to soft light and select your brush tool and go back to layer 2 and make sure your foreground color is white and paint on those areas where you want to brighten so i will paint on on her eyes and on her teeth inside her eyeballs where i can see some light and then i will select layer to copy and paint inside her eyes where we have the black color but make sure in this case your foreground color is black but layer 2 is very strong so let's decrease its opacity I think here it is fine okay, let's add another layer for her lips and sample color from her lips but I will select an orange color for her lips and paint with that color Now let's change the blending mode to color. We have added some uh, color to her lips. Let's go back to our layer 2 and I want to add some highlight to her lips as well. So select your brush tool and make your foreground color to white and add some highlights to her nose, on her eyelids and on her lips. Let's add another adjustment layer this time around I will use selective color and I will change my black and red colors so play with these uh, sliders let's go back to my layer 2 and I want to add some highlights and some shadows to her hair so I will do some more dodging and burning on her hair so we are doing we are done with our adjustments now I will add some more lights in the background another image I have already downloaded I will move it to this image using the V button to select the move tool and now I will change its uh, mode to blending mode to screen because black will disappear in this case and let's create three copies of this layer and adjust and move them as per your liking and I will uh, mask those areas out which appear on her face for all these three layers Uh, so I don't want any lights on her face and on her hair so let's remove everything from her face and for, from her hair so that's it you can see before and after thank you very much guys and
subscribe to our channel like our videos for more uh, lectures thank you very much